So, why do I wish to send Thomas Edison to damnation, virtually speaking? This is something I would like to explain to people. It has nothing to do with Buddhism, but it is important about understanding the world we live in. So it's a, also something I like to speak about, or I don't like to speak about it, but I like to destroy ignorance through revealing it, and amongst other things. That is one thing of many things which are not yet revealed to humanity in general, but which are true and which have influenced and limited our development as a race of sentient beings, as a planet. And so I'd like to say why I really, really am disappointed with the fact that Thomas Edison got to be the guy who got famous for or believed to be the guy who gave us electricity because he didn't. First of all, electricity is a natural force which exists and existed a long time before humanity ever came along. Every thought in our head emits electricity. We ourselves are electricity factories. Huh? We make electricity. Our life force has an electric field. The earth has an electric field. Everything has a magnetic or an electrical field. The problem is not to find electricity, it's everywhere, potentially as kinetic energy or as an electric or magnetic field too even. That's not the problem, it never was. The problem was how to channel it. And actually the problem beyond that was a problem which be, belongs to, it's a problem of corporate people and people who wish to put themselves between those who need resources, need energy, and the energy itself, and to contain that energy in a controlled manner and then distribute it in a limited fashion at a high price. Something that is completely free from Mother Nature. It's like the water. It's like the air we breathe. Even water, they charge us money for it now. And they've made the water that you can drink for free poisonous. Or they've made you believe you can't drink it if it's not poisonous yet. <clears throat> so water and electricity, we pay for air. They can't charge us for it yet. That's a difficult one. But maybe one day they'll even charge us for the air we breathe. So. I hate Thomas Edison. If I could hate anything, I would hate Thomas Edison. And if I could really, truly hate anything, I would hate his sponsor. Because the truth is that there was a man called Nikolai or Nicholas Tesla. <clears throat> Some people have played a game called Command and Conquer, a video game where there's a, you have these electrical towers which send lightning bolts and destroy your enemies. It's called a Tesla a Tesla tower, Tesla coils. Well, that actually came from, was a, a rip-off of uh, Tesla's true invention, which was a kind of a tower with a, some kind of coil or generator machine on it, apparatus. And he found a way to tap the latent electricity that was in the atmosphere on the Earth and to channel it and direct it through these towers without the use of any cables. Now, I'm a person, I have a phobia about cables. I have a lot of electronic equipment in my house. I'm a webmaster and have been for many years, and so I have a lot of cables around everywhere, be it chargers or computers or just electrical uh, equipment. Um, and so they're always tangled. And it, you know, I'm sure you've encountered the entanglement factor that it doesn't matter if you take 10 electrical objects and plug them in all separately with their cables not entangled, 
within a day when you go to get one of those objects you will notice that all the cables have somehow got knotted up with each other cables have this tendency they love to wind around each other and get tangled up like spaghetti like fishing line there must be uh, that there will be a scientific reason for this the same way why small gravel will come up to the top and big gravel will go to the bottom or the way a broken glass the pointy bits will if you make a pile of broken glass the pointed bits will point downwards and the blunt pieces will point upwards that's how you do the walking on glass trick we used to do that many years ago and there was a traveler and we did that in I was traveling around Europe we one of the tricks we did to make money on doing street shows was the gla broken glass trick so I know how that one works so there'll be a reason anyway if we if Nikola Tesla had succeeded in being the person who brought us electricity or being the front man the person who the general public knows then electricity would be wireless we would all have wireless electricity you wouldn't need any cables to plug in you'd be able to charge your phone just from the air around you mm -hmm. Tesla invented this already at the turn of the century and he'd already found a way to do it and it just needed some development and further research but the sponsors of Thomas Edison who was the other guy who is claimed to have discovered the electric light um, basically the guy who was sponsoring Thomas Edison who was the competing project with Tesla that guy had all his money uh, invested in copper cables and so um, of course Tesla's invention didn't interest him because you couldn't contain the electricity to contain it is to steal it and so when the sponsors of Thomas Edison found out that although Tesla's work was genial, genial, uh, the work of a genius and would solve the problems of humanity, the energy problems it was of no interest to him because what he wanted to do was to contain it and Edison's method was that of generating it through actually uh, destroying other resources or polluting other resources that didn't bother him so it was less efficient in that sense, whereas Tesla's did not destroy anything because it just took it from the air and from the fields, the natural fields around in the atmosphere and earth. So, and with such an investment in copper cable, of course, it was more interesting to take Edison and take copper cable and contain the electricity and he would be able, the sponsor would make a hell of a lot of money laying copper cable, electricity cables around America and all his stocks and bonds were in copper cable or a lot of his stocks and bonds, much of his money so that's why we have cables instead of wireless now a hundred years later because they want to charge us for it but actually, one, it's not theirs so if we invent this, a way of tapping electricity that doesn't need to go through them, you watch what happens. You see how fast the inventor dies or disappears, or how fast the, the, the project files get stolen, or how fast it gets shut up. So, all you geniuses out there, if you can work out what Tesla did and how he did it, if you find out, don't make it public because you won't live for very long. I'm quite sure of that. Mm. But anyway, that's why we have cables. And the truth is, Thomas Edison did not invent the electric light. He was just given the credit for it. And he did not invent electricity. Nobody invented it. Mother Nature made it. But he did find a way of tapping it or generating it from another latent kinetic energy source but he didn't invent it and he most definitely did not do humanity a favor he was part of a plan which prevented humanity from becoming free to its utmost and having free resources 
which would mean we are now a spacefaring race. We would now be a spacefaring race if it were not for military projects, money spent on military projects, and if it were not for the tapping, controlling, containment, and commercial selling of the resources available on Earth, energy resources, food resources, which is also energy, of course. And so, um, yeah, may Thomas Edison and his sponsors burn in hell. I don't really mean that, but, you know, it's if there was something to say in a human language, that's probably what I would say. But actually, I don't really want anybody at all to burn in hell because we all do wrong only through the fact we suffer false view. So I don't really mean it. I mean it figuratively, not literally. Just as a human expression, may that guy burn because it really didn't do us a favor. And I think it's time that uh, perhaps the complacency of humanity should end and that people should perhaps uh, <sighs> make themselves heard about this because if not, I think we're really doomed as a race. We need to become a spacefaring race very fast because overpopulation and the limited resources of this planet are going to run out a lot faster than we realize. And so we need to get our asses into space and figure out how to effectively colonize. It's why the Mars project is in action, but they're just trying to save a few people. They're not trying to save us all. And so if we're all going to be saved, we need a space-firing race. And to do that, we need to make energy resources a non-commercial asset of humanity and that it is free for everybody and can be used for all auspicious projects. And that military projects should come to an end and turn into space-firing projects. We need to get into space as quick as we can and to develop our colonies and escape routes because it is the only way humanity will survive the next phase of our destiny. So that was my story about why Edison needs a smacked bottom and who is the real hero in the discovery or the other gift of electricity to humanity was Nikola Tesla, who was unfortunately made a mockery of, and whose name was deliberately stained, and it blew up his laboratory. So, may you ponder on that and understand how our world has become and why it has become so. This is Ajahn Spencer with a very unusual talk, non-dhamma related, signing off.